Hello everyone, this is Daniel from Hi the Game Guy. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to continue this room to take the video series. In this video, I will continue the or finish or attempt to finish the recipe for disaster quest with the final boss fight. Uh, there's actually a series of six boss fights. Uh, each boss has a different way uh, that's the best to kill it. Uh, I'm going to go through, attempt to go through these as abiding the bosses uh, as best as possible. So before I go in there, just a quick note, please remember to drop a like for us. Uh, comment below with any questions uh, and as I can uh, do more videos in the future for you that address uh, what you need. Uh, if you come up with better ways to do it, please also uh, drop a, a comment below. And of course, share so everybody else can uh, have help completing their quest and subscribe notification bell uh, so that you can receive notices uh, when I post something that will help you. And finally, um, please, please, if you can, super things because uh, everything on the site's free at this time. Uh, can really use your support. I don't do any memberships or any merch or any of that. So if you uh, drop a super thing, so it would really help us out a lot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, now to the uh, dining room, uh, to the portal. Uh, all right, so all right, a couple of notes. Uh, you should bring super sets. I, I didn't have any, but um, with me, so uh, I'm just gonna attempt to. Uh, my stats are great. I am, you know, for this quest, so I'm gonna try it without it. Uh, you cannot use prayer, summoning, or dwarf cannons in the boss fight. Right. Uh, the bosses fire immediate uh, suspend immediately after you go on the next one comes, but you can leave between each boss and restock. Uh, if the uh, if you have your gravestone set up, uh, if you die uh, on the boss fight and you have your gravestone set up, it's supposed to appear in this area outside the portal, so you can uh, just come back and claim your stuff. Uh, it's supposed to, uh, you know, Jagex, uh, things don't always work the way they're supposed to. Just, you know, pay attention, you know. Uh, all right, first boss is Argeth Nana. Uh, Argeth Nana uses Mali uh, when, uh, okay, Mali when, uh, in, okay, so, uh, okay, so if you're next, right next to him, well, right next to Argeth Nana, you will, they, that will, uh, you, the, the, the boss will use Mali, but if you're far away, Three or two, three, four, like more multiple spaces away, uh, it will use fire blast. So you should possibly, uh, more likely, use a range. So I have a range set up. Uh, after I finish uh, with Argus Nana, uh, Flame Bud is next. Uh, if you will use a weapon, um, I'm guessing uh, they mean melee weapon. Then you should use ice gloves because flame bud heats it up too much that uh, it will uh, either uh, unwield your weapon or deal heavy damage to you. So uh, I'm gonna put the flame, uh, flame uh, the ice gloves on immediately when flame bead shows up. Uh, you could use water spells arranged. I'm gonna use I'm gonna switch to water spells uh, as soon as he shows up. So I'm gonna switch to this gear for flame bead and then. Uh, third boss is Caramel. Uh, and you need stat restores because uh, they it will reduce your stats. So I'm actually I'm gonna see if I can 
Uh, let me set up this interface because that's not good. Uh, reduce the this um, magic book. Uh, just because of the amount of interaction with different things at the same time, uh, I'm just attempting to organize things so that I have the maximum in, uh, amount of uh, interaction with the with the game while I'm doing this. So, all right. So, caramel, I uh, stat restore. Uh, so I have super restore with me. That's preferred over the regular stat restore. Uh, fight her melee range. Uh, I says fight her melee range with a fire spell. Um, we'll, we'll see. All right, so let, let me go ahead and get this boss started. Uh, so the first one raging in all the sense. So let's go. Where am I? All right, so that's right here. No, no. And that's already done. Slam bait. I need to put the uh, ice gloves on and the mage. All right, so, and then water spells. Okay. Right, and then caramel is smelly. Uh, where is caramel? Uh, caramel is already almost done. Uh, and my stats here. Let me. Uh, that's wrong. Uh, All right. Uh, Ivan blast range works well on him. Oh, okay, that was already done. Uh, gelatinous mother. Right, gelatinous mother is a little more tricky. Um, uh, gelatinous mother changes styles. Uh, so this was, was going to take me a little while. Um, uh, wind spells. Uh, blue is water spells. Right, that was a fast fight. All right, so now I have to fight the Cullen Narrow Mancer. All right, so the, that's the last fight. So uh, I'm going to do the highest level I can. And OK, he died quickly, too. OK, so that was a, a very fast fight. Uh, All right, so I completed the experience quest, defeating the Colonel Romancer. Uh, that achievements will take. Congratulations, you have defeated the Colonel Romancer. Uh, so the recipe for disaster is complete. I got one quest point for the final fight, 20,000 XP limp for any skill above 50. Uh, full access to the Colonel Merchant, Colonel Romancer's chest and two treasure hunter keys so let me open up the this and again archaeology is my lowest skill i'm going to choose that and then uh, as well i will claim my two treasure hunter keys special events still going on so i will claim uh two medium prismic limbs and i will also put that in archaeology With all of these uh, bonuses to archaeology, I'll end up catching that up before I do the archaeology video for you all. <laughs> uh, so many limbs. All right, so heading down 
uh, to the uh, solder basement, whatever you want to do, basement solder, uh, either one works. Uh, heading over to the culinary master's chest. Okay. All right, um, Jags. <laughs> uh, and looking into the, uh, oh, they have spiders. Okay, uh, heading over to the food chest, and this is now full access. So full access is 10 of most items. Uh, one pizza base, 100 pots of flour, five ribs, 50 cooking apples, 300 chocolate bars, and 10 of everything else. Uh, this year. Uh, all right. Uh, full access to the item chest. Uh, now this this is the one I'm gonna get is. All right. So the color master gloves nine is thirty six armor, and seven uh, bonus and strength ranged in magic. But then the last one is forty nine. Uh, and eight bonus in each. Uh, as as opposed to. Uh, let me see, uh, uh, what do I have on here? Gloves. So the subjugation uh, is 64 armor uh, uh, and 11 magic bonus. So less than one, you know, I'll look at the items now. So comparing 49 armor to uh, 64 armor. So the, the uh, power armor sets are better, but um, comparing it to the um, so the state of the royal dragon height, uh, okay, sixty four armor uh, to forty nine, but you get an eight bonus in each stat. Comparing it to uh, bandos, uh, sixty four armor and eleven strength, uh, but uh, then uh, forty nine armor, but then this one has eight. Strength range magic, so uh, so that this uh, Kalinar Mancer's gloves presents a possibly a good option if you're in a situation <coughs> where there's multiple bosses like the Spinal Fight, or um, you have to switch combat styles frequently. Uh, that's this gives you less things that you have to switch off. Uh, if you're able to use a steady combat style, then the uh, uh, by all means the rules of subjugation or the uh, or the banners gloves might, might be better for a banners for melee and subjugation for um, mage would, would be better. But uh, if you're going to be switching or in a multi way zone, uh, the colonar mancer might be better. So uh, I give you some uh, things to consider. Uh, let me deposit. Oh, yeah, right. Went up to the right spot. Let me deposit all of this. Uh, I want to keep this out. I don't want placeholders. All right, so uh, then I have a lot of my stuff organized, uh, and we're ready to continue with this video series. So, uh, uh, so I will see you soon in the next video. Uh, uh, good luck questing. Uh, take care. Have a nice day.